Another day, another dollar. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, baby. Just hanging out here in our fully expanded shop. Ah, the repairs. They are ours. Yes, yes, yes. But I have a couple uh, skip points. I want I want to go higher. Put them up, put them up, get them higher, girl. Put them up, put them up. But here, Dino is one thing that we have to crush. We also have the paint shops. But we are level 15, which means... We get to check out the auction house. Now we were playing a live stream last night and we unlocked it and we got a good little look at it and it's pretty awesome. So, right click or not, haha, -ha. yes. Maps, test track, racetrack, car auctions. It's pretty fantastic. Now it does charge us money to go there. It does charge, I don't know how much it just charged me. Just charged me cash, whatever. Oh, okay, so it's $200 even to go over to the auction house, so check it. We got car auctions, the Kowalski car auctions, and the Kowalski salvage cars. Here's regular car auctions, man. Three stars. Three stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. Okay, okay, this is all lovely, all wonderful, very high priced. But, if you go over to the salvage cars, this, this is the new junkyard. Oh, yeah. Starting price. 1857 Kravitz, uh, Kravitz, Kravitz, Lenny Kravitz. Ah, oh, so many good things. <gasps> a Corvette. That's seven thousand dollars. Let's get, let's get a deal here. A steal, even. Category Katsumoto. Gross. Uh, we have a giant. Oh, an El Camino. Now you select it, and it's gonna take us over here. And my goodness. What a rat den. Sure, let's take a look at it. Examine. Hey, I've got a quick question. What about the engine pads? Uh, they're all garbage. They're all trash. Nothing's good. Hated it. Never gonna work. We're never gonna... We have to replace the entire engine. The entire car will have to be replaced. So it's really up to you, man. Like, it's really up to you whether or not you wanna... Put, all, put your all into it. Not too many pieces, not too many parts are going to be repairable. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about that. Huh. Whew. I mean, my God. <laughs> Ugh. It's going to cost more than what it's worth to repair. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be able to get this probably, probably. Hmm. Car status. Trash. It's all trash. Yee. All the missing parts. So you really gotta kinda weigh your options here. Like, do I really want? Do I really, really want this? Do I really, really need this? You know what? I'm good. Alright, what kind of clunkers and junkers we got here today, brothers? Ooh. An Evo. Oh. Can we restore it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, you, you pretty. What's going on here, buddy? Examine the engine. A lot of it's probably going to be hat garbage, but it's a classic. You can't beat a classic. I mean, you can beat a classic. You just got to keep on hitting it. But I mean, it's pretty nice. Little fuse boxes, some cooling. I'm sold. All right, starting price four thousand. We got a bid. Must be ours. It has to be ours. Come on, come on, just give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give it to me, baby. And all the girlies say, I'm pretty fly for a white guy. 1955 Salem 1500, boom, receive that cat. And we're gonna put it in the garage. We did it. Now here's the cool part about these kind of builds is that I already put a couple dollars in, into this joint here. And uh, just to give you an idea, if I were to sell this right now, I can sell it for 7,784 credits with a profit of 2,100. Buy price was at five grand. I thought it was way more than that. I think it was way more than that, to be honest with you. But we're gonna put a bunch of uh, love into this. And if not, whew, I'll just sell it. Cause this thing's a beast right here and I like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now the real question is, does... Engine can't be started. Okay, that's fine. Does it have 
Let's put some electronics in here. There's a couple fuses. All of them are hot trash. Everything's garbage. It sure is. We gotta take the whole thing apart, put it back together again. Like Humpty Dumpty and crap. But it's all here, man. All the parts are here, it looks like. It's not a missing piece. It might be a couple missing pieces in here. I think it's gonna be all right. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and we'll, <laughs> we're gonna shock the ever living crap out of this. Ready, set? Yes. Shocking money, Penny. Very shocking. Money. Very, very shocking. Yes. Yes. All right, let's start breaking this beast down. All right, just making sure that I don't have any pieces. Let's just go ahead and move this equipment over here. I'm gonna take off all of our lovely little pieces. All right, let's get cracking here. All the body pieces have been removed. Now we gotta get to the nitty gritty here. Let's see, wheel hub caps, everything here is harsh. We have to repair or replace all of it to really mean something to us, you know? To make it look pretty and fully restore this, this, this beautiful gem. All right, let's take these brake drums off here. Ooh, brake shoes. Got your brake shoes on. Fantastic. So. I know that we're gonna try and start with the suspension and the undercarriage here first. We'll start repairing that and get that out of the way. And then we'll take our brand new engine on our, well, not our brand new engine, our old engine, but put on our brand new tree. Got a new tree for it. New crane, put on the tree. Like decorating and crap, like Christmas. It's a beautiful thing. This thing is so rough. <laughs> Everything's gonna be replaced. I might have to sell our first car that we got from the auction during the live stream. I might have to do it. We may have. I don't. I just don't want to take another job. You know, get an easy seven thousand dollars right off the bat. Okay. So the entire chassis has been taken out. All the suspension, the tires, everything. Let's go ahead and get the, rid of this battery. All the stuff that's free floating here. We're gonna take it all. Boop it out of here. Except for the fuse boxes, we actually have to take all this. Crack that out. 16%, 18%, ugh. 16%, this thing is so rough. Oh my goodness. Problems abound. It's gonna be so expensive. Oh, my bad. Sorry. There we go. Okay. I'll see if I can lift this thing out. First time trying it, first time. First time, long time. Our pullout game is super strong. Still still doesn't uh, still doesn't look uh, anything like it over here. Now let's go ahead and drop it over here. That's the one. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Oh, we can repair all these parts now? Oh, get out of town. This is gonna be so money, so money you don't even know. We gotta make everything purdy. Oh, let me tell you, these parts are looking baby fresh, bro. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, that brings me, it gives me so much joy. I'm filled with glee. Now we just gotta take some of these off. Grind those down. Oh yeah. How many parts can I, wait, I keep on going this far. How, oh. I have six pages of parts. It's gonna be like day 147, still here. Repairing parts. All right, fourth tire in the mix. Let's go ahead and grab our brake discs. Okay, we're all set on those. Now, we can, we can repair all the rims. Oh. See, it seems like on the regular normal uh, jobs that come into the shop, we can't do too much of anything. Unless it goes over a certain percentage, but like this one's 17%. I guess if it's just in the red, I don't know. And I'm actually a big fan of the new mini game repair system. It, get, it, it basically just gets rid of all that RNG where you can get up to something that's like 97% and then you go to click repair on it one more time and it could completely break the part in the previous uh, 2018 game. But now, it does take a little bit of extra time, but the money that you save and the parts that you get are no longer RNG, they're all in your skill base. So, 
long as you're good at doing this, which it seems like I'm pretty okay at. Unless they start speeding stuff up. You never know. You never know if there's some hot fixes gonna come in. But like, it's too easy to repair parts. Too easy. But I doubt that. All right, last two parts. Crushing it. Crushing this repair game. You know, I spoke, I spoke way too soon. Way too soon. But, let's check it out. I think it can be done. A lot of this stuff is going to be repaired. What? Yeah, a lot of it. Let's check it out. So, of course, all the uh, things here, all the little fuses and doodads and whatnots. Let's see the tires. Can we get some tires here? Look at all these rims. We only have to replace two, one rim, one rim and four tires, 225, 75, 15. You know what? Let's go ahead and purchase those a while. What do we got? White walls in here. What are we vintage? We vintage and out. Rim basic. So basic vintage tire wall A, 225, 75, 15. Okay. Look at you. Do I need to install anymore? I do not. Fancy. And we got to balance this tire. Wonderful. All right. Let's get the party started. Fuel tank, we're definitely gonna need, definitely gonna need the parts on that. So, here's some parts that I know we're gonna need. All right, it's all the basic stuff that we always had issues with. So tie rods, forget about it. Two of them, you're gonna have to snag them. They, they were not, were not able to be purchased or repaired. Brakes. Got two brake pads over here. We're gonna knock those out as well. Um, and rubber bushing. I know this section doesn't have it. Well, this section does. I'm gonna get, uh, you know, I'm gonna snag up 10 of them. Small rubber bushings, uh, we'll, get, we'll get six of you. Why? Just for good measure. Now, when it comes to our springs, let's go ahead and clank that out. Got double wishbone shock absorbers. Two of them. What about caps? I need two caps. And two springs. And that's just the basic stuff that we're going to need. One, two, three. Do it. Do it. Do it. Now, I'm purchasing all the parts of things that did not repair. So they were 1%. No bueno. Or just not unrepairable. Sway bar end link. Gonna have to snag two of those. Happens. It happens. It happens. Uh, knuckle C's. We're bearings. We got the yeah, front sway bar. Consuela. Sway bar. And our knuckle covers. Knuckle up, baby. Knuckle up. Now, as far as our mufflers are concerned, those are still still pretty garbo, pretty garbage. Now, as far as our mufflers are concerned, boop, boop, and boop. I'm going to have to go ahead and tag those up there. I noticed that there's a bunch of different things that are on the shopping list that uh, go vanishing from time to time. I don't know why. Oh, wait, I already, I already, I already, oh, I already bought those. Oh. Didn't seem like I I purchased any of these. Let's get these middle mufflers on here. Oh yeah, see? Uh, uh. Knocking it out. Alright, leaf springs. Rubber bushings, small rubber bushings. It's a good thing we got a bunch of them. Go ahead and drop those small rubber bushings in here. Looking nice. For shock absorber B aggressive. B E aggressive. And hopefully after this, we might actually have another level, another level to go. Beautiful. Brake cylinders, they're repairable now. Brake shoes, they're also repairable now. Ho ho! Brake drums, uh, that's, another, that's, that's a beat of a whole different drummer right there, man. Brake drum. Let's get two of these. Snag them up. Buttercup. And there's a tire. It's a, the the back suspension is pretty simple. Right now we still have eight thousand dollars to spare. I might be able to sell a bunch of those parts. I think we actually can. <laughs> Not might. I will be. 
able to. And if not, worst comes to worst, we have a bunch of uh, money we can make from our car outside just sitting there chilling. We can just sell it. Make a little bit of extra scratch, a little bit of extra scratch. Forgot to add the leaf springs over here. Okay, and just like this, the back's done. Oh yeah, those white walls are gonna be looking real pretty. Real, real pretty indeed. All right, now the cross member, we could not repair it, so we had to replace it. Steering rack, repaired our sway bar. That was something that we could not repair. Rubber bushings, rubber bushings never repair. They never repair. Putting on suspensions, sway bar links. Oh yeah, and we get the upper suspension arm. Huh? Oh no, the rubber bushings are going, they're going hard. Going by the wayside over here, brother. All right, let's go ahead and put this here. Rubbers. I always get a bunch of rubber bushings, but I kind of forget about how many I might need. Let's just grab six more. Let's just grab six more. Six more, even though I think we're just gonna need these two. I just I just miscalculated by two. It's good to have extras. You just never know when it comes to the rubbers. Remember that, remember that kids. Remember that, write that down. Never know when you're gonna need one, bro. Haha, <laughs> gross. Put you there, put you there. And we got the brakes. All right. And for about four grand <laughs> in repairs, also on the body parts too. Ooh, now that I'm thinking about it. Gonna have to get rid of this as well. Unless we clean this. I'll spruce this up. Something tells me I'll need to do what I can to spruce all this up anyway. But it's very simple. It's a very basic premise. Oh no. Look at that tail light. I forgot the tail light. Oh no, no. All right, so now the engine is coming into play. Can I repair this? I can't. Good, I'm glad. Now we get to take apart this beast, this monster. Now I'm gonna hop on in here and get rid of some of the parts that I know that we're not gonna need because we've already replaced them. Speaking of which, I need to go ahead and charge our battery up here. All right, and that gave us a couple, a couple hundred dollars-ish, esque roundabouts. All right, let's get apart this beast. So dirty. You're so filthy. Don't worry, we'll make you all pretty again. I promise. It's gonna be kind of a little toit. I have a feeling we're gonna be a little toit on the monies. A little toit on the monies. Oh my god, the rocker arms. The bane to my existence. Ugh, hate them. Just so time consuming. Jeez, I mean, everything should be time consuming on here. We're taking apart a clean engine. All right, now all the push rods are out. Rocker arms are gone. Let's get rid of the rest of the electrical here. With the clip Bs. If you ever have a clip problem, clip A's go on the filters, clip B's go on the distributor caps. In case you, in case you need to know where those are. Get rid of these, let's get rid of the spark plugs. They're all gonna have to be cleaned and sterilized and sanitized and thrown away. All right, put you there, get you out of here. Pop you down, lovely, so lovely, so nice. And then we gotta get the intake manifold. We'll drop that out. Hose you down, gotta spray you down. Yes. Crushing it, knocking it out. My friends, beautiful. It's got this exhaust manifold, the whole thing. All right, engine head, off with its head. Can't wait so I can level up so I can get the uh, faster screws perk. I like to screw a little bit faster, as we all do, sometimes. Sometimes I like to take my time, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get this underneath here. Yeah. Rotate the engine, 
Rotate the engine. Booyah. All right. Let's see if I can get this. Get these rod caps out of here because they're all harsh. Okay, and off you go right here. Oh, lovely. I've also turned off the zoom because it's getting kind of annoying how all the time I'm constantly zooming in and zooming out and I was getting a little bit bothered during the live stream. I was just like, how... What... How do they figure out how this zooms in and out? I just want to know the, the, the algorithm or whatever coding that they have. It's like, one side, I'll zoom all the way in. Like, I want to keep it right here. And then I go to the next part, it zooms it all the way out again. So I turned it off. So that way I can control the zoom so that we can see a little bit better, hopefully. And then so it doesn't constantly zoom me in and zoom me out because now maybe I won't get dizzy. It's like a dram me before I play this game. It'll be fine. We'll get through this together. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. Here, get the serpentine belts. Steering pump. Pump, 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 pump. Okay, we are almost finito. Ugh. Everything is so, so busted. Because of the rust. And it's tin roof rusted. Love shack, baby. Baby love shack. That's where it's at. Let's go ahead and put this off. Please. Thank you. All right. Crankshaft. Camshaft. Arm say. Ar arm A. Not arm six. Arm I6A. And the engine block. Oh. Woo. All right. Now. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the proverbial rubber meets the road. These repairs, I'm unmatched. Unmatched, I say. No one can beat the diesel. No one. All right, here comes some real expensive parts now. That engine block, if we don't repair that, that's going to be real expensive. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. All right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Crushed it. Beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha. Engine block. Fire it up, brother. Oh, look at how pretty it is. That's nice. That is really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big fan. Now, things we need to get. Okay, so our shopping list is vast. <laughs> These are all the things that we didn't repair. It uh, It's going to be a bit of a problem, but we got all the rear shock absorbers and all the bottom suspension parts so we can clear those off because I forgot to do that. So that's a little bit nicer. Makes you feel a little bit better about myself. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, all that's left now is just all of the, the, the pieces, the... The body pieces, we bought all the engine parts, so at least it'll run, it just looked like garbage. We got three grand. Let's see what we can pull off here. We may need a miracle. Put that crankshaft in here, and let's start putting the pistones in there as well. Oh yeah, 100% them. 100% them all day. All these parts can get gone then once we're all said and done. Now again, these are not performance parts, these are basic parts. One star level, well, zero star level, so they're not upgraded. But that's where the grind's gonna be. Not only just unlocking everything, but getting those parts, upgrading those parts, buying and purchasing those parts, to make sure that you have the top of the line performance vehicle in the world. Oh yeah, ha ha, ha ha ha. Mission coil B, fuel pump I6, loving it. Oil filter, drop that in there like it's half. Put the camshaft in here a while. Put the water pumps. All right, now my most dreaded and hated thing I've ever had to deal with, the valve push rods. I'm just gonna put those on a while because I hate them. Just do them, get them out of the way. Now, if you really want to go old school or not even just old school, you just don't want to 
spend all the money and you want to kind of hunt for the parts and get the good ones, you can totally do that with all your different junkyard experiences and go into every single piece and junk pile heap and get her done the old fashioned way and not buying any of the parts. And then you can really maximize your profit. But the thing is, is that you're trying to get into restoring things. You want to kind of get it done now. You know, I've, I've been there. I feel it. I feel you. But we may have to try and find a nice little way to do a restoration where it's not going to cost us an arm and a leg because we got to think about profits, kids. We got to think about profits and where we're going to go. How are we going to do these things? How are we going to make it through this crazy wackadoo life? So it may be the way to go in the future when it comes to basic restorations. Now, if I'm just gonna go and go ham and go uh, put all of these crazy performance parts in there, I'm not really worried about the cost of it. Money is not an object. We've spared no expense. Let's get the carburetor right here. And this is actually a perfect first restoration because there's not as many parts. There's not as many things to put in. It's almost the perfect starter restoration it's not going to be too expensive although it's going to be expensive we spent at least 10 grand right now just trying to get the parts for this and we're going to spend a little bit more just trying to get the body parts to match up that's going to be a bummer i know so hopefully we'll turn a slight profit at least get our money back you know we're just restoring this thing back to its beautiful shot sometimes you're going to take a loss although shouldn't shoot to take a loss Oh, yeah. Cover her up. Cover her up. She's gorgeous. Just complete. Take off the engine stand. Install? Yes. Do it. Return, my pretty. Return to your lair. Yeah. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and put in the brake servo here. Oh, I forgot the battery. It's been charging over here. It's been charging over here for a couple hours. Nice. Nice. That battery up here. And we got to put on the gears. Gearbox. Reservoir. There's the brakes. Yeah, there's no ECU. There's no, there's no handle lock brakes on here. Perfect. Complete death trap. Love every single second of it. I purchased way too many. No, these are just right, the just right amount. Good. For a second there, I was concerned. Let's get that fuse types in here. Fuse type there, please. Fuse type B, fuse type C. Put the cover on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's lift you up. Put the gearbox on there and the drive shaft and the starter. It's a handsome ride. It's a handsome ride. Put that starter on here. And last but not least, the drive shaft. We're going to put that right over there. Mm -hmm. We are everybody. We are everybody. Brings a tear to my eye. Brings a tear. Okay. I'm not gonna cry. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. All right, let's put the coolant in here. Fill up all the fluids. Looking nice. Maxing it out. Love it. It's back up here. Let's go ahead and put the windshield washer reservoir in here. And this thing is like 100%, bro. Look at this. Profit $17,000. I mean, why not? 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Uh, uh, everything's just so gorgeous. What? Seat leather. Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. Quick question. If I move you over to the car wash and get the detailing going, will that clean our interior? I don't think it will. Sure doesn't. That's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. Now, can I repair any interior parts? Nope. Are you sure? 
What I can't, I don't have a seamstress. This is nonsense. Nonsense, I tell you. Fine, seat leather. Fine, fine, seat leather. Oh, well, first things first. Where is our interior? All right, so for our cars, we got taillights. All this junk, all this stuff needs to get repurchased. That's a bummer. That's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be a quite the price, bro. All right, so we got body workstation, our Salem. Open up our shopping list. Ninety-five. Okay. Front left door. I think we're gonna skirt by with the skin of our teeth. by the skin of our teeth. Whatever the saying is, I'm not sure. And you know what, we do need ourselves a license plate. So let's get a license plate and we're in Arizona. That's where the game is actually popped in there. We're gonna buy the part. I could custom plate it, but I don't have an extra thousand dollars to knock out. And what else am I forgetting here? Interiors. That's right. That's right. How could I forget? How can I forget? Let's get the... Hold on. Where is our guy? There she is. Let's grab two of those. And a nice... A nice wooden steering wheel. Uh, I don't know about that. Steering wheel, TBX, roulette. Yeah, there we go. Wheel roulette, a little bit of wood in here. Maybe a little little steering wheel bowing. Hmm. I don't know about a bowing one. Let's do it. I'm down. We will have completed an actual full blown restoration on a car. Level 15. Get after it. Hashtag get after it. Nice. Now check this out. Disassemble additional parts. Assemble additional parts. There are no bonus parts to install. Nifty. That's interesting, I think. Not quite sure what that's supposed to mean. Nice. Let's put this on here. Right door windows. Right side mirrors. Look at you. Oh, yeah. That's right. I don't have you. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're missing parts. And another license plate. Oh, we got problems. As long as that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg, we should be fine. Plus, I have to do a paint job on it? Oh, no. I don't know how I feel about the cherry red. And then we got the left end. Oh, no, we don't have the left fender. Right tail lights. Right fender. All right, so we need a rear window. Front right fender, left fender, left light, and a left mirror. Right. So, left side mirror, easy sauce, no problem. Left headlight, again, no problem. Left fender. Okay. Rear window to hundo. We're just getting by, bro. We're just getting... I'm sorry, did I not just purchase you? Oh no. The rears. I purchased the wrong thing. Okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's going to be fine. Front left. Front right. Oh, thank God. Oh my goodness. That was scary. Still, oh, I need a left fender anyway. I sold it. I'm a moron. Fine. That's okay. We're down to our last $300. <laughs> ha! Oh, we still need to spend some money. That license plate. She ain't done yet. Let's 
Get that license plate. Another Arizona John. Boom. 250. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. All right, so let's check out our inventory. Let's check out all the inventory here, man. Clip bees. Oh, no. Did I forget the clips? I think I did. Can't forget the clips. Can't forget it. Okay. Everything that you see is garbage. And unfortunately for us, this will have to go because I need to paint. And unfortunately, I don't have any of the extra cash. They'll sell this car. It's going to be at a bit of a loss, a bit of a loss. It says I can make money, but I have not made money. I totally spent more than what I was looking to spend. I got $8,000 in here. Let's move that car to the paint shop. And this costs a thousand credits. Hmm. Is there any way you can see like different uh, different views of this? I don't think so. You can go matte, pearl. Oh. Oh yeah. That just happened. Oh yeah. Now I just need some some nice rims to murder them out. Oh, this is gonna be the truck. Although I'm gonna wait until we have enough money for mods and things like that because I know that there's gonna be engine swaps and lowered <laughs> versions of this. This is like this this truck's dope. I'm a big fan. Huge fan. Huge. Huge. You have no idea, huge. Okay. Whew. It has been done. Let's go ahead and take a picture of it. Just to last in our memories. Let's go ahead and adjust the height. Oh yeah. Depth of field. Let's boost that up. Focal point, but the aperture. There we go. A little much on the depth of field. Let's chill, body. Chill, body, 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 body. Height settings. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. All right. How much cash? How much cash? Car status. Everything is 100%. Profit, $37,949. Condition bonus, ten Condition bonus, ten grand. Performance parts bonus, zero dollars because there's no performance bonus. Uh, part, bar, what the hell was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Going to move the car. Test path. We got to align the wheels. Gotta make sure everything's pretty. Oh my God. See, we gotta think about safety. Safety first, then teamwork. Come together. Beautiful. How about the lights? Yikes. There we are. Now you're beautiful. Now you're perfect. Now you can be sold. Sell the car. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, $46,000. Now we have $54,000. And we are the car flippers. And now what are we going to do with that money, brother? I'll tell you what we're going to do with that money. That dino purchased. From that restored, that, res that beautiful restoration, we are going to have all of our upgrades, all of our areas. They're going to be complete. <laughs> so we have an upgraded paint shop. You don't have the necessary parts. You don't have the necessary parts. <laughs> Good one, Diesel. The dyno has been completed as well. Let's open this up. Yes. Can't wait to play around. I cannot, cannot wait to play around with you. <laughs> oh, sophisticated, top of the line, spared no expense. Another car to work on in here. Tuning. Oh, okay. So we can mess with the ECU tuning in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. It's 
sensational even. But folks, that is going to be your episode of today. Dude, the salvage auctions are the new junkyard. And we made a hefty profit to the point where we have purchased everything that we could possibly unlock for you and yours. In our next episode, we're going to mess around with the dino. A couple little working around fixings. Doing all the regular repairs and such. Maybe check out another auction. But then, we're going to customize this jam. We're going to make it look all kinds of pretty. Are you with me? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But like I said, that is going to be your episode today. If you enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps on my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day. Live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Folks, peace out. Like, shout out, y'all. And I'll check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, baby. Next time.